Do narcissists ever feel regret? A question that provokes curiosity and intrigue. Let's begin by unwrapping the concept of narcissism. Narcissism, rooted in Greek mythology, is a term used in psychology to describe a personality disorder characterized by excessive self-love or self-centeredness. A narcissist typically displays grandiosity, a lack of empathy for others, and an insatiable craving for admiration. The common perception is that narcissists do not feel regret. This belief is based on their apparent inability to empathize with the feelings of others and their relentless pursuit of self-interests, seemingly without remorse. But here lies the paradox. If a narcissist is incapable of feeling regret, a sentiment born of empathy and self-reflection, how can they be truly self-aware or even self-loving? Thus, this question, do narcissists feel regret, is not as straightforward as it appears. To understand if narcissists feel regret, we need to delve deeper into the psyche of a narcissist. The narcissist's mind is a complex labyrinth filled with self-love and a grandiose sense of self-worth. In the realm of psychology, narcissism is a term that carries a lot of weight. At its core, it is characterized by an inflated self-image and a profound lack of empathy. Imagine walking through life with a mirror always in front of you, reflecting only your image and obscuring the world around you. This is the reality for a narcissist. Narcissists are often seen as the heroes of their own stories, with an unwavering belief in their superiority. They perceive themselves as unique, exceptional, and entitled to the best of everything. This inflated self-image is not just a facade they present to the world, it is an integral part of their self-perception, a deeply ingrained belief that they are superior. Consider the case of John, a high-powered executive who never hesitates to step on others to climb the corporate ladder. He sees himself as the smartest person in the room and is quick to dismiss anyone who challenges his ideas. His inflated self-worth blinds him to the feelings of others, reinforcing his belief in his own superiority. On the other hand, empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, is virtually non-existent in narcissists. Their world revolves around their needs, their desires, their achievements. The feelings of others are at best an afterthought and at worst completely disregarded. Let's take the example of Sarah, a charismatic socialite who leaves a trail of broken relationships in her wake. She manipulates others to suit her needs with little regard for their feelings. In her mind, others exist to serve her purposes and their feelings are inconsequential. These characteristics, the inflated self-worth and the lack of empathy, paint a picture of individuals who seem impervious to regret. After all, regret requires a sense of empathy and a recognition of one's faults, both of which are in short supply in a narcissist's mind. The lack of empathy and inflated self-worth often lead to the assumption that narcissists do not feel regret. But is this truly the case? Regret is a feeling of sorrow or remorse for a fault, act, loss, disappointment, etc. Can a narcissist experience such a feeling? Regret is a complex emotion. It involves the acknowledgement of a mistake and a desire to make amends or correct a wrong. For most of us, regret serves as a vehicle for personal growth, nudging us to reflect on our actions and their consequences. But when it comes to narcissists, the landscape of regret takes on a different hue. Narcissism, as we've discussed before, is characterized by grandiosity, a lack of empathy and a sense of entitlement. These traits can often influence how a narcissist processes regret. To understand this, let's delve a bit into the psychological theories. The cognitive dissonance theory proposed by Leon Festinger suggests that we strive for consistency in our beliefs and actions. When there's a mismatch, we experience discomfort or dissonance. To resolve this, we may change our beliefs, acquire new information or minimize the importance of the inconsistency. For a narcissist, admitting to a mistake, which is at odds with their inflated self-image, could create cognitive dissonance. But instead of acknowledging the mistake, they're more likely to shift blame or downplay its significance to maintain their self-perception. Moreover, narcissists often lack the capacity for genuine empathy, making it hard for them to fully grasp the impact of their actions on others. Without this understanding, the sense of regret may not fully develop. However, it's essential to remember that narcissism exists on a spectrum. 
Some narcissists, especially those with some self-awareness, may experience a form of regret. It may not be the regret we typically understand, rooted in empathy and a desire to atone, but rather a regret tied to their image or the consequences they have to face. While it may seem like narcissists do not feel regret, the truth is more nuanced. So how does regret manifest in a narcissist? Now this is a question that has thrown many into a loop and to answer it, we need to dissect the very core of a narcissist's regret. Interestingly, there's a twist to the tale. Narcissists may indeed experience regret, but not quite in the way most of us do. Their regret doesn't stem from a sense of guilt or remorse for the hurt they've inflicted on others. No, their regret is born out of situations that negatively affect their self-image. It's about how they perceive themselves, not about how their actions have impacted others. Let's delve into some real-life scenarios to bring this point home. Consider the case of a narcissistic individual who ends a relationship. In typical situations, people might regret causing emotional pain to their partner. They might reflect on their actions and feel sorry for the hurt they've caused. But for a narcissist, the regret is not about the emotional turmoil they've unleashed. It's about the loss of control they've experienced, the disruption in the carefully curated image they've built, and the potential hit to their social standing. Or take another example, a narcissist who lies to gain an advantage but gets caught. Most people would regret the dishonesty, the betrayal of trust. They'd feel remorse for their actions. But a narcissist, they regret getting caught. They regret the exposure of their lie, the dent to their image, and the loss of the advantage they sought to gain. These examples aren't meant to demonize narcissists, but to illustrate how differently they perceive regret. It's a self-centered regret, focused on the potential harm to their self-esteem and image, not on the pain they've inflicted on others. So yes, narcissists do experience regret, but it's a different kind of regret. It's a regret that's more about self-preservation and less about empathy or compassion. Therefore, narcissists do feel regret, but not in the way we might expect. So, do narcissists ever feel regret? We've journeyed through the paradox of narcissism, delved into the depths of a narcissist's mind, and explored their relationship with regret. We've discovered that yes, narcissists do feel regret, but it's not quite as you or I may experience it. Their feelings of regret tend to be self-centered, driven by a fear of losing their carefully crafted image or the admiration of others. It's not about empathy or remorse for any harm they may have caused others. No, it's about preserving their ego, their reputation. Yet it's also important to remember that this is not a hard and fast rule. Narcissism, like all aspects of human psychology, is a spectrum. Some may feel deeper pangs of regret than others, and some may not feel it at all. As with many aspects of human psychology, the way narcissists experience regret is complex and multifaceted. Remember, understanding is the first step to compassion.